Hey everyone, I'm Christina with Ultra Fiesta and I am here with Carlos and Hector from Disney's new movie, McFarlane USA. What's up guys? What's How are up? You? We're good. How are you? Good. Wow. Powerful performance you guys did. You. I congratulate you. You guys Thank did you. a really great job. Welcome to McFarland. This is a farming town. These kids working here are invisible. They come from the fields and they go back to the fields. Mr. White, if we're gonna reach him, now's the time. You were uh, powerful runners in the movie. Did you guys train for this or were you runners beforehand? We had to train a lot for this film. I mean, the running you see on screen, we probably did like five times more than that. It, we had to train for a whole month and every single day we'd have to wake up early in the morning and uh, train like five or six miles and that's just for a warm up. They're fast. Yeah. Cross country running. California is holding their first state championship this year. You do understand we don't have a cross country team? Yep. You've coached cross country before? No. You competed in high school, maybe? No. Well, you sound perfect. This movie was based on a true story. Was there any interaction with the original marathon runners? We actually did have the opportunity to meet the real runners, and my character, Johnny Samaniego, you know, when I met him, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, okay, what's this guy gonna be like, and how should I portray him? But he's a really great guy, very funny, and I find many things in common with him, so it was great playing him. They're both very funny. This guy's hilarious. What was the most difficult scene that you had to shoot? There's this hill in the third race uh, that, you, prior to seeing it, you know, Coach Wyatt is talking to Danny Diaz, and he's like, that's how big it is. Yeah. That hill, I don't even think, like, when you see it in, from, the, uh, from the bus, how big it is, that's how big it is. When you actually see us running it, it doesn't do it just. Like, I mean, that was, yeah, it yeah. was ridiculous. It was a huge hill, uh -huh. and you, when you see it on screen, you're like, ah, it doesn't look that bad, but when you're running it. No, no, but when you see it in the bus. Yeah, when he's like, there, that, 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 like yeah, that big. That, that's was, really that's how real. big the that, hill that's was. That's no joke, that is real. And all the tears that we cried, those are real Those are real hill. tears. <laughs> okay, like, it was ridiculous. I do marathons too. They're oh, called um, Netflix marathons, where you like watch your favorite okay, show. Okay, I love those, <laughs> I, run, I do those all the time. What can audiences expect from watching your movie? I think audiences could ex they can they can expect to laugh, they can expect to cry, they can expect ex inspect, they can expect <laughs> whoa, uh, they can expect to do all those things and expect to be inspired because uh, it's just a movie that's filled with our hearts, our love, and I mean it's made for everyone. It, you know this isn't just a Latino film, this is an American film, and it's made for them. So I hope it touches all of them. Hey, I'm Hector Duran here with Carlos Prats, and you guys got to go check out McFarland USA in theaters everywhere. You got to run to the theaters and check out McFarland. In USA, February, February 20th. <laughs>